Hey you guys and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. It is such a nice warm December day. Y'all I am loving these temperatures because that gives me the opportunity to really really get out here and do some much needed yard work. So in today's video, you guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of yard work. I'm going to be installing finally the fence post lights, the solar lights for the fence post. Super excited about that. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, you, you know how I am, you guys. We're not gonna sit here and talk too much. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into this video. So let's go. So y'all, before I could get started with applying the solar light post, I had to remove these little caps off the fence post and I'm already working on removing this one. I just removed the one from the gate here. And here's what that was. Here's what it was looking like. So I just removed that one. So this one was already good. So this is the size cap I'm gonna use for that one. And then of course I have to remove this one. But let me quickly try to get that done because I also have to do the other side of the fence and there's quite a few over there, so. y'all so I am finally finished installing all of the solar fence lights um, and just in time too because it's starting to drizzle just a little bit but y'all know your girl got to keep going until the rain starts to really come down I got to keep going but anyway let me show you guys what it looks like so far all right guys so here is what the lights look like at the moment and you guys know I'll have to show you a nighttime view as well but it looks so nice. Now, I will say I didn't have enough to go on all the posts. So I just mainly did it on the ones that are pretty visible. So as you can see, like right here, I still need one here in this area. And then I also need two more to put here and here. So I need about three more and I'll be able to, you know, have posts or have solar lights on all of the fence posts. But it looks so good, you guys, look at that. I can't wait to see what it looks like at night. I love the detail in the lights. I think it's so pretty. But yeah, so got that done. So it did take me about, I don't want to say maybe about 30, 35 minutes to install all the lights and there were 12 solar lights all together. So I don't think that's too bad, especially because I had to remove all the caps off the existing post. So maybe if I hadn't, you know, if I didn't have to remove all the existing uh, caps on the post, then I probably would have done it a lot quicker. All right, so now I want to go in the backyard area 
and I want to clean off my patty in a hot heck of a mess and because these temperatures are so nice right now this is the perfect time to do that and also that will give me the opportunity to just really lounge and chill and just kind of spend more you know more time outside enjoying my fire pit so I can enjoy the space when it looks a hot mess you guys so your girl got to clean it So this is probably my least favorite thing about the fall season. Y'all, these leaves are just on 10 at the moment. I mean, oh my goodness, it's literally like this every single week. Thankfully, it looks like a lot of the trees are starting to become bare with all the leaves falling off. So hopefully I'll have maybe just a few more weeks of raking up leaves and I'm just hoping and praying that I will be done, you guys. All right, y'all, so here's a look at how the solar lights look so far on the fence post. So here's what they look like. They look so nice. And it's not like really, really dark outside yet. Let's go take a look at the ones on the other side of the fence. Oh wow, look at that you guys. You can see it all the way from over here. That looks so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. So I do, like I mentioned before, I still have to get three more to finish adding them to the remaining 
post. But yeah, they're nice and bright. That looks so nice. So here's a quick look at what the solar lights look like without my Christmas lights being on because I know with the Christmas lights it can be just a little bit distracting. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick view of what the solar lights look like without any Christmas lights on. And also on this side of the fence I don't have any posts as you guys can see which is why I don't have any lights on that particular side of the fence. Hey you guys, so it is the next day. It's a little windy outside, so it's making it a little chilly outdoors, but today I want to just kind of tidy up in the front yard space a little bit because there's a lot, a lot of leaves in the front yard. So I just want to kind of clean it up and just kind of make it look nice and neat. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. Um, yeah, just tidying up the space basically because everything else is pretty much done. Um, so I'll, you know, just kind of show you guys uh, briefly what the yard space looks like currently. So right quickly, I just want to show you guys what everything is looking like at the moment. So as you can see, there's a lot of leaves everywhere. And the tree for the most part has pretty much already dropped all the leaves you can see how the branches are pretty bare for the most part so I think I think I might be good after I rake the leaves up this time around in this area so yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of that rake up get everything nice and clean over here you guys can kind of see here So yeah, so that's just basically what I'm going to be doing is just sprucing up the front area, just making everything look really nice and clean. y'all so here's a look at what the yard space is looking like after I've cleaned up all the leaves so I managed to get it up from around the fences around the trees and of course the yard looks a thousand times better Let me just try to get a good view of what that looks like so everything is cleaned up really really nice and neat loving it and I tell you when the yard space is clean there's no leaves or all or you know the grass is trimmed really low it just makes the whole house look better so yeah go 
got all of that done and done. Awesome. Alright, you guys, so here's a quick look at what the patio space looks like after it's been cleaned up and decorated for the holidays. So um, I did manage to get up most of the leaves, but of course you guys know after a few days more leaves are on the ground. But hey, I guess that's expected. But yeah, I just wanted to bring out that Christmas vibe in this particular space as well since I do spend quite a bit of time outside enjoying my patio area. So just wanted to include that Christmas spirit in the patio space as well. And I will be decorating my deck space um, very, very soon. I'm actually still waiting on a few of the Christmas decor to arrive. That will be in a separate video. I was hoping to add it to this video, but it just didn't arrive in time. But anyway, um, you guys will see here that I also added some icicle lighting around the canopy area. Again, just to bring in the whole Christmas vibe and that whole, you know, that just that nice festive feeling. take a moment to say thank you so much for tuning in to today's video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up that will really really help out my channel and if you are new to this channel welcome my name is Carolina and if this is the type of content you enjoy I would love to have you join my family of subscribers and as always to my existing subscribers you guys know you are always welcome back so I'm going to close out this video with a huge holiday greeting from the best group of students that I've ever had the pleasure of teaching. Happy holidays, you guys. Happy holidays!